What's up everyone, I'm Steve, and I show you how to take the BS out of personal finance. Today, I'm gonna to talk about five ways that you can save or make money using a credit card. You ready? Let's go. Okay, first, the total consumer debt in the United States is really close to $14 trillion. That's trillion with a T. Not all of that is credit card. It, it includes mortgage and student loans and auto debt. That's all debt combined, all consumer debt. But credit cards consist of about a trillion of that total debt, a trillion dollars in credit card debt. So the only way that this works is if you are responsible with your credit cards. But if you are, you can really take advantage of these suckers and save some money. So let's dive right into it. And by the way, stay tuned to the very end. I have saved the best perk for last that you probably don't know that your credit card offers. So number one, let's talk about perks. Most of us know about credit card perks. They could be in the form of airfare or hotels or rental cars or restaurants or gift cards. A lot of us have perks that come with our credit card. So in the course of our regular spending to sustain our lifestyle, we earn these points that can be redeemed for these kinds of perks depending on the credit cards that we use. Credit cards are going to be different so you need to know what your credit cards offer but these perks are a great way to save money, great way to earn bonus miles, great way to go out to restaurants on the cheap. Credit cards are just good like that. Number two is cash back. This concept of cashback was actually first popularized in the US by Discover, where you spend you know, money on your credit card and then the credit card company will give you anywhere between one and 3% cash back of everything you spend. And some credit cards will even give you 6% cash back based on qualified expenses. So if you spend $1,000 on your credit card, you get 1% of that back in cash. And that is literally free money. Number three, one-time bonuses. So credit card companies will give you an incentive to sign up, to apply for their credit card and sign up and get it if you spend a certain amount of money within a certain amount of time after getting their credit card. So for example, if you spend $5,000 in the first two months with a credit card, they might give you 20,000 bonus points. And those points, again, can be redeemed for any of the perks that we've already talked about before. So bonus points can add up to a lot of extra perks for us. And these bonus points can be redeemed for airfare, for gift cards, for travel, for gasoline, for merchandise, anything that we've already talked about, that's what these points can be redeemed for. So look for cards that offer a one-time bonus, but also have a low enough annual fee, so you are getting more in points than the annual fee is taking from you. That is what makes these cards worth it. Number four is fraud protection. Cash cannot in any way offer fraud protection. If you get cash stolen from you, you're, you know, let's face it, you're probably not gonna get that cash back. However, if your wallet is stolen, somebody takes your credit card and attempts to use it, then there's a good chance that you will get your money back because you could flag that purchase and the entire card as being fraudulent and you'll most likely get that money back. And some credit card companies are so sophisticated that they can flag a potential fraudulent pur purchase before it actually happens. Now this can be annoying because sometimes that happens to you. That's happened to me too. I legitimately use my credit card and the credit card gets denied because the company thinks it's fraudulent, but it's not because I'm using it. But the flip side to that is if your credit card ever gets stolen and that purchase is somebody who tries to use your credit card halfway around the world in a day, your credit card company is probably going to flag that as fraudulent and the credit card company will prevent that purchase from going through. That card will be canceled, you'll be issued a new one, and everything is good again. But if you have cash, that's not going to happen. If you have credit, it can happen. So credit can save you from fraud. Okay, last but certainly not least, many credit cards will offer insurance or extended warranties on the things that you buy. And this is something that not a lot of people know about credit cards. So for example, you buy an electronic at Best Buy, they ask you if you want an extended warranty for an extra charge, 
it's very likely that the credit card that you're using may actually provide a very similar warranty to the one that you might potentially spend more money to buy. Not all credit cards will offer this, so read the fine print. If you don't understand, call your credit card company and find out what extended warranties your credit card will cover on the things that you purchase with that card. Travel insurance is another big perk that some people take advantage of, but not enough. Rental car insurance, again, credit cards offer a wealth of protection for you if you know how to use it and you know that it's there. And I would be remiss if I recorded this video without mentioning a very strong caution. And I alluded to this before, this only works. You're only gonna be able to save money and actually make some money with your credit card if you are responsible with that credit card. So that means don't spend money just to earn points. Like don't spend more money than you normally would just for an extra few thousand points. That's gonna cost you money in the long run. Also, pay off your credit card every single month whenever possible. Interest rates with credit cards are high, so you definitely do not want to be paying that interest. And one thing I like to do before I spend money on my credit card is I ask myself, do I have this amount of money in cash? So if I had to buy this in cash, I could. If that's true, I'll go ahead with the purchase. But if it's not, then it's very likely I'm making this purchase with credit because I don't have the money to pay for it. That is the wrong way to use credit that too many people fall into. And that's why this country has over a trillion dollars in credit card debt, because people are not using their credit cards responsibly. But if you do and you take advantage of these five benefits, you will use your credit card to the maximum potential. You will make money, you will save money, you will protect yourself from fraud, you will be able to travel on the cheap, stay in cheap hotel rooms because of all these credit card perks that you're getting. <laughs> I am sitting here editing this video and I forgot the most obvious tip of all. By using credit cards responsibly, you are building credit, which will help you to acquire other credit cards, will help you to acquire loans and mortgages at a low interest rate. Good credit expands your options significantly with what you do with your money in the future. This tip kind of goes without saying, but from a completeness standpoint, I thought I would give you that as a bonus tip. Good credit card use builds your credit, and that's never a bad thing. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and we will see you next time. Peace.